What's up, everybody? This is Atticus, the Death Meddler, and oh boy, St. Patrick's Day has come at last. Now, if you remember last year, I made a video in which was dubbed the Forgotten Irish Slave St. Patrick's Day Special, and I received quite a lot of mixed criticism onto that video. But aside from all that, I decided not to focus on the negative, but to focus on the positive sides over my Irish heritage. Many of you know that I do take my Irish heritage very seriously. I am of Irish and Polish heritage, and I take both of those heritages of mine very seriously, and I am proud to be of Irish and Polish blood. But for this day, I am proud of my Irish roots. Now, last year I focused on how that my people were enslaved, or in which, of course, you know, indentured servants, or also slaves, whether you think that or not, but still, they were enslaved nonetheless. But, let us focus on the good side about Ireland, how Ireland has brought the world and stuff. So, I'm gonna lay down a couple of facts about Ireland. Ireland is home to over 5 million people, but over 70 million people with Irish blood in them call it home. It is the birthplace to 24 Olympic medalists, 17 Oscar winners such as Barry Fitzgerald, Benjamin Cleary, Brenda Ficker, Cedric Gibbons, Corinne Marnin, Daniel Day-Lewis, George Bernard Shaw, Glenn Hazard, Josie McGavin, Martin McDonough, Maureen O'Hara, Michelle Burke, Neil Jordan, Peter O'Toole, Richard Benham, and Terry George and Orlop George. It is also home to seven Nobel laureals. Betty Williams, David Trimble, John Hume, Maurid McGuire, Seamus Heaney, Sean McBride, and William Butler. Those that have left the motherland filled the world with O'Briens, Murphys, and Kennedys. Most notably, Jonathan Fitzgerald Kennedy. The Irish heritage is one of the most well-known heritages alive today. It practically lives in us. Newgrange is older than Stonehenge and the Pyramids of Giza combined. It is the first Eurozone country to exist out of an economic assistance program. It is named the best country to do business. Ireland is becoming one of the most sustainable producers of food and drink anywhere in the world. And that is coming from a country that suffered a famine. A potato famine. It is top globally for the quality of its scientific research. It is number one globally for adaptability of its workforce. The youngest workers for the European Union are from Ireland. Despite a shit ton of hardships, the Irish are still Europa's most charitable people. Its waves are fucking kick ass and known to surfers around the world 1033 overseas companies choose ireland as their european base eight of the top 10 global information communication and technology firms live in ireland nine of the world's top 10 pharmaceutical firms call ireland home irish innovation has enhanced around the world in haiti thousands of haitians have now today have clean drinking water thanks to Irish filters. Irish tech and software powers remote areas from Asian Africa, also British Parliament and Paris Metro. Irish culture and music has reached all around the world. When it comes to metal bands, primordial. Fucking primordial. The track that I'm playing right now is from primordial. But yeah, St. Patrick's Day is a day in where you should be proud of your Irish roots. Proud of the accomplishments over the people of your motherland are doing. To the people that moved out of the motherland and accomplished great wonders. So, take this time as a way to be proud of your Irish roots. Especially in this politically correct time where saying, oh, I'm proud to be this European country's heritage, this European country's heritage, it seems racist. Push all that aside and just be fucking proud of where you've come from. Be proud to be Irish. 
Oh, and all ladies, I'm Irish, so kiss me. I know that's not a cliche, but you get the gist of what I'm talking about. So, without further ado, I am Atticus the Death Meddler. Hope you like this video, subscribe to my channel, links are in the description below. Keep it metal, and happy St. Patrick's Day to all of y'all!